Today I'm going to be going over the steps on how to add storage and RAM to this uh, laptop. Um, this is an MSI GL series uh, 739SD. Um, just because I'm using this series doesn't mean it won't apply uh, to other series of uh, laptops. I'm sure it'd be great for other ones, but this is the specific one I'm using. So let's get started. The tools that I'm using for this installation, I've got a couple of um, flathead screwdrivers here. I have a Phillips head screwdriver. I have a larger Phillips head screwdriver for one screw that's on the inside of the laptop. And then I have a pair of needle nose pliers that's helpful for getting the screws out of the back of the laptop. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is a, a hard shutdown on the system. Um, the way that I recommend doing this um, is to go ahead and take the power button and just hold it down until the uh, machine shuts off. And you'll see it completely die right there. And um, we'll go ahead and turn it over and get started. All right, so this laptop has several screws all the way around it. You'll see there's one here, 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 uh, several along here. Any ones that you see on the top here, you're going to want to go ahead and take out. Um, there is one that has a factory seal over it. Um, I did contact MSI before doing this uh, install, and they said that um, uh, adding storage and memory would not affect the warranty, so you don't have to be worried there. Uh, make sure that anything on the USB ports on the computer is removed. I've still got my uh, Nano for my mouse in here, so I'm just going to take that out, um, put that off to the side, and uh, yeah, we'll get started on these. So you can just go ahead and take your Ninja screwdriver, kind of get in there with this. You can take each one of these out. All right, I'm kind of making my way around, gotten these unscrewed now, um, and I'm just going to take my screwdriver and poke right through this factory seal here. Just kind of get in there and get this one out too. If you have any trouble getting these screws out after you've unscrewed them, just grab a pair of needle nose pliers, not that hard. Just kind of get in there with them. Um, that'll help get those out. That way when you lift the cover off, they're not going to fly everywhere. Just note that they are all the same size, so you, know, you don't have to separate them or try to mark where they came from. So um, you can just put them wherever. And let's try to get the cover off this thing. This is a gaming laptop, and most gaming laptops are meant to be modified and easy access. So I'm just going to kind of try to pry from a corner here. All right, so the corner is probably the way to go in here. Um, if you can see, there's kind of a little bit of a separation here that you can get your fingernail up under. So you can just kind of pull at that and hear that pop. We're just going to kind of pop all the way down here. You see it's kind of starting to come apart here. I'm just going to get that backing off so we can get it on this side. Go along this edge. Just kind of going to go all the way down. All right, now probably the trickiest part of this um, is actually getting this back portion off so that you can actually take the entire lid off. Um, I've been kind of working with this here, uh, taking two flathead screwdrivers and then just kind of taking this and popping it out, kind of bending it here like that. And it's coming. There's another pop, takes a little bit of work. All right, now I'm kind of taking it with the screwdrivers and I'm kind of working it down the side here. Kind of trying to keep both of them in here at the same time to pry it open. You can see it's coming up right there. Alright, so now I've taken it all the way down this edge, and you can see I popped it up out of all the clips there. 
So we're gonna go ahead and pull this open. All right, and there it is right there. Internals of it here. Um, you can see one of the things we're gonna be doing today is this RAM slot right here. Uh, you want to be careful what you touch on the inside of this because there's a pretty big battery here. Um, you also don't want to provide any electrostatic charge um, to any of the components that could cause problems down the road. So a little bit about the components I'm working with today. This is crucial brand memory here. Um, eight gigabytes worth. Um, I chose this because the computer already has eight gigabytes. Um, and generally when you add memory, you want to um, add the same amount to the other slot so that it can still run in dual channel mode. Um, so this is DDR42666 uh, memory, uh, pretty standard. So make sure it's notebook memory and not desktop memory when you buy it. Um, and then also I'm working with the Intel SSD6 series. This is the 660p model that they make. It's a one terabyte SSD uh, that we're going to put in here in addition to the 256 gigabyte uh, Western Digital Blue that I already have in here uh, right now. So let's get this in. All right, so I've got the crucial memory. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Uh, you can see right here the pins only will go one way. They seem to match up like that. So you're going to put it in like this. It's very important that you put this in correctly the first time. So we're going to slide it in like this at an angle. It's not flat with the laptop yet, but go ahead and lock it in like that. And then use the corners here to go ahead and press down. Try not to press on the circuitry here, but go ahead and maybe use this part here to lock this into place until you hear that click and both of these sides are insecure. Um, I'm using the Intel one terabyte SSD, as I mentioned earlier. This is a PCID SSD, so um, you're going to want to put it into this PCIe slot right here. If you're using a SATA drive uh, SSD or if it's even an HDD or something like that, you're going to put it in this slot here. You see this foam as where it's going to sit, and then these right down here are the connectors where you're actually going to uh, put it into. So that's a pretty simple install as well. It probably came with a screw that's going to uh, go in here somewhere. Uh, if it didn't, just uh, leave it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Uh, you wanna make sure that this screw is out, which I've already taken out. Um, it takes a second for that to come loose, so make sure you have a sturdy screwdriver and you don't you don't strip it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. Uh, very similar to the RAM, you're gonna want to make sure that it's at an angle to begin with here. I'm gonna, gonna put this in here. Make sure it's all the way in. You don't want to see any more of that gold connector down there. Um, and then we're going to grab the screw that I took out. And this is going to go all the way down in here. All right, so I've got that in there now with the screw um, down fairly tight, as it was before. Uh, you see that it's all the way connected, and we have both slots of RAM in here. So we're going to go ahead and get the uh, case back on this. All right, when you're putting the case back on, the thing to do is gonna be to get this front part in here first. You really wanna anchor this down to begin with. Make sure all that is in. Nice and tight there. And then the sides here, I'm gonna get those in too. All right, I found that the easiest way to do this is go ahead and open up the laptop and just take the edges and kind of pop them in this way. Don't be afraid to put a little bit of force into it. Uh, it's meant to be taken apart like this. All the way around. Get the screws in the bottom there. So we're just gonna turn this over. Get this ready to boot here. Hit the power key. And while this is loading, go ahead and hit the delete key a few times. That's the MS MSI trigger for the BIOS setup. So you can see on the main screen here, there's an option that says storage information. So I'm just going to use the down arrow key to get to that. And you're going to want to make sure that uh, it does read 
your SSD. So now we're seeing the Western Digital that I had, the 256 gigabyte, and then we're also seeing the Intel uh, one terabyte hard drive that I have. So you're just gonna go ahead and uh, escape is the key here. So we're gonna exit and then we're gonna exit again. Uh, quit without saving, go ahead and yes on that. And then we're gonna load into the laptop here. All right, so now we're into the laptop and one thing that you're gonna wanna check is also that it is reading the RAM that we just inserted. So um, a quick, easy way to do that is to hit your Windows key and R at the same time. And then you're gonna type in this command right here. It's DX, D-I-A-G. And once you type that, hit enter. And it's gonna come up with a screen that shows a lot of information about your computer. And there it is right there, the memory reads 16. 384 megabytes. All right, uh, one more thing that you may notice, uh, it's kind of important. Um, if you go to your settings on your computer, you'll notice that you do not have the other hard drive in here yet. Um, my other hard drive is still here. This is actually just my same hard drive, but it's partitioned into two. Um, so the one terabyte is not even showing yet. To get that to show up, we're going to actually have to uh, initialize the SSD. So uh, we're going to type in another command. We're going to go Windows key R like we did before. And then we're going to type in this command here, D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T.msc. And we're going to hit enter on that. And this is going to take us to Windows disk management uh, section. So you'll see here that I have lots of different uh, options, lots of different layouts here, but they're also all from disk zero. Um, and this is the original hard drive that I had. Here's the one that we just installed, um, but it's unallocated space right now. This is a little bit different because sometimes you will have to initialize the disk before you can actually see that. So if that's the case, go down here and right click on the disk and then click initialize. It's not giving me that option because the disk was actually already initialized uh, just from putting it in. But if yours has to initialize, uh, just know that you need to right click and then select initialize. Okay, so if yours is showing unallocated, then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and you're going to create a new simple volume here. It's going to open this new simple volume wizard, click next, and then um, we're going to decide what size that we want it. I recommend just going ahead and doing the whole uh, size of the drive there's not really any need to put a partition on it at this at this point in time so if this is just already auto filled with the maximum size go ahead and click next and then you're going to assign the drive letter e that's fine um, and then you're going to click next and then these here are a little bit different but um still nothing extremely strange. We're just going to leave all this in the default settings. Um, perform a quick format is fine because the disk is empty. And then we're going to click next. And it's going to give us just a review of what we already did. That's fine. So we're going to click finish. All right. And then Windows is going to show us the new volume here. Going back to this PC, we now see my original drive, uh, the partitions that I had. And then we see this one called New Volume, which is the one that I just added. That's the terabyte drive. Please like if this video was helpful, and thanks for watching.